as I was praying this morning and asking the Lord if there was anything that he wanted me to say or read, um, I was led to this in Amos. I saw the Lord standing by the altar and he said, strike the capitals so that the whole porch is shaken smash them down on the heads of the people and those who are left i shall put to the sword no fugitive will escape no survivor will find safety though they dig down to sheol and then right here you know they even put like a gate like a gate to hell or something like that and this is a hole that they're digging down very deep. So this is the deepest uh, this is a very deep um, hole that they're digging. This is the deepest one I believe that has ever been dug. So even though, though they dig down to Sheol, from there my hand will shake them. Though they climb up to the heavens, and we know about all the crafts that they have, and the plans that they have to, when this happens, to fly away or to escape it. From there I shall bring them down. If they hide on the summit of Carmel, there I shall hunt them out and take them. If they conceal themselves from my sight in the depths of the sea, there at my command the sea serpent will bite them. If they are her herded off into captivity by their enemies, there I shall command the sword to slay them. I shall fix my eye on them for evil and not for good. And who he's talking about is the evil um, people that have been oppressing um, God's people, and and you know they're just they're wicked um, people that are in charge that do wickedness. So if you are one of those people that are doing wicked things, and you're uh, what the world calls an elite then I highly, I encourage and I pray that you turn your heart and turn, turn to the Lord and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord, King, Savior, Messiah, and Redeemer, and you will be saved. Um, but in, in Amos it says, I shall, if they hide on the summit of Carmel, there I shall hunt them out and take them. And when you go to Jeremiah 6.16, it says, I shall send for many fishermen, says the Lord, and they will fish for them. After that, I shall send for many hunters, and they will hunt them from every mountain and hill and from the crevices of the rocks. For my eyes are on their ways. They are not hidden from my sight, nor is their wrongdoing concealed from me. I shall... First make them pay double for the wrong they have done and the sin they have committed by defiling the land which belongs to me. They have filled my possession with their lifeless idols and abominations. The Lord, the God of hosts, at his touch, the earth heaves and all who live on it mourn while the whole earth surges like the Nile and subsides like the river of Egypt he builds his upper chambers in the heavens and arches the vault of the sky over the earth he summons the waters of the sea and pours them over the earth his name is the Lord So this is a prophecy um, that the Lord uh, 
told me to to um, to say because I asked him I asked to be led with the power of the Holy Spirit and I asked the Lord if there's anything that he wants me to say um, on the YouTube channel so I am being obedient to my Lord and I want to be obedient because I love him and we have a uh, a intimate relationship together and so I encourage all people to just to be obedient to him you guys and do what his word says and and prove that you love the Lord with show rather show the Lord that you love him through your relationship by being obedient we know how to do these things with our partners or our 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 wives you know or if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend or a daughter or son or whatever we know how to show our love with them in our relationship and it's the same with the father you guys it's it's a relationship you know that's what everyone says it's a relationship but they don't treat it like a relationship they treat it like a, a one-sided thing and that's not what the Lord really desires his deep desires are to have some a, a receptive relationship you know just like what we desire so anyway you guys um i love you and god bless you all in the name of jesus christ